Greetings everybody! Today we will be starting my Mastering the Spy series where I give both the basic and advanced tips of spy and how to play them to the fullest extent of your abilities. Now I've accumulated many hours playing spy and while I wouldn't say I'm a super mega god at him, I can say I've gotten a lot of experience. So in this series I'm going to be sharing all of my expertise that I've gathered over these hours I've played this game. Today's episode will focus on the basic tips of Spy, his advantages, disadvantages, who he counters, and who he is countered by. Let's get right into it. The first basic tip of playing Spy is know when to not play Spy. Is your team wiping the floor and keeping the enemies held up inside their hidey hole spawn? Don't play Spy. Is there a dedicated pyro who will somehow find you if you decloak even for just a millisecond? Don't play Spy. Is there already four Gibbous spies on your team that are waving their butter knives frantically at the enemy, hoping they'll somehow, in some way, kill something? Don't. Play. Spy. Spy is what is classified as a support class. He supports others. He doesn't win the games. He doesn't get the captures. He helps the players who do win the games. Having too many spies makes it harder for you to do your job because the enemy is more and more aware of the amount of spies and there are also less general classes to play the objective, which will make you lose the game. Knowing when to pick that number 9 slot is one of the most integral parts of playing this class, and one that you should get a good feel for. I get it though. If you're watching this, I know you enjoy playing Spy, but you have to be able to put that aside sometimes and play another class to help your team and yourself. Number 2. Be prepared to die. A lot. As a spy, you're always about one rocket or headshot away from being the crumbly mess on the gravel pit floors, so don't be surprised if you die a lot. Being a class that is tied for the lowest health in the game, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the spy is very easy to kill if you don't play your cards right. Now I've spent a lot of hours playing spy, and at least a third of my time was spent messing up, whether it be decloaking at the wrong time or messing up a stab, and then dying to some soldier with a hail zone rocket launcher. Dying will happen a lot, and it sucks a lot, but they will help you in the long run to learn what not to do when you're playing. Next, be patient. Playing Spy will often at times require you to wait for that just the right moment to strike, so you need to be patient when playing as him. Coming out of cloak at the wrong time can make the difference between getting a sick chain stab or being the pyro's next batch of toast. This applies especially when the enemy is getting paranoid of you, to the point of where they're checking literally anyone who passes by them. At that point, being patient and waiting for them to eventually forget about you will be needed. Alright, final basic tip. When playing spy, out of sight means out of mind. When spying, make sure that you are staying out of your enemy's sights. A lot of times, if the enemy will see you, they're likely to spy check you just for safety. If you can stay out of their sight, they will most of the time not pay attention to you and go on to focus on other things like playing the objective, which will give you time to strike. Also, never, and I do mean never, look at an enemy head on. It is an almost guarantee that they will spy check you right then and there and get you killed. So now that we know the basic tips of spy, what exactly is the job of the spy? I mean, there really isn't a clear answer like with some of the other classes. Let's break it down. Spy, as a class, has three major roles that he fills. First, while every other class can do this, Spy is tasked with taking down key targets such as the Engineer and Medic. With his Cloak and Disguise kit, he can completely render the Engineer's sentries completely null against him in the right circumstances, and he is able to get behind the Medic and go for a backstab, possibly denying an uber in the process. If you ever take down a medic, pat yourself on the back because you just did your team a huge favor. As for taking down these classes, we will go over that in a later video. Next, Spy denies the enemies from resources and destroys their defenses. Spy can both take health and ammo packs away from the enemies while cloaked and disguised, which makes it a requirement to have either a medic or a dispenser around to support them. He also saps the engineer's buildings, specifically the teleporter and sentry gun, which play a huge part in defending and reinforcing the enemies faster. Last, Spy causes paranoia amongst your enemies, causing them to stop playing the objective and focus on you. As a Spy, your most important job would be, in my opinion, making your enemies paranoid. 
When they get into this state of mind, they are going to start looking around for you and wasting their precious time that they could be spending playing the objective. Instead, however, they're looking for you, and they're no longer helping their team reinforce and capture areas of the map and objectives. Even if you're hunted down by a bunch of people, pyros, snipers, and all that, you've done a fantastic job as a spy, because the enemy has now wasted at least 30 seconds trying to kill you. Give yourself a pat on the back, because that is playing well in its finest. Let's talk about spies' enemies. Yes, even the spy has enemies. It's the whole other team. Namely the Pyro and Scout though. You have to put yourself in so much danger as a spy, so when the gig is up, there is going to be a plethora of people who are gunning straight for you. I'm not even lying. When they see you stab someone or decloak, it's like they get this sort of tunnel vision where they must kill you and only you, like it's their prime directive or something. Anyway, Scout and Pyro are going to be your main problems. Pyro can light you up like a Christmas tree, making your cloak and disguise kit completely useless. Scout leaves everyone in the dust with how fast he is, so trying to run away from him is like trying to run away from a cheetah. It's just not going to happen. God help you also if he brought Mad Milk with him. Whew, might as well just jump off a cliff right then and there. At least you'll go out on your own terms. Last, let's talk about who you're strongest against. Who should you be going for? Which targets should you be looking for? Well, to give you the short version, you directly counter Heavy, Sniper, Engineer, and Medic. Heavy has the slowest move speed of any class in the game, and also can get a bit distracted sometimes. He's a very easy target for most spies, especially when he's not paying attention. Sniper often will stay scoped in and not move around that much, so picking him off is super easy as well, so as long as he isn't paying attention or has a working pair of ears. As for the Engineer, you are the bane of any turtle engineer out there. You know the ones. The ones who are swinging their wrenches 24-7 on their guns and never move, never turn around, and never stop whacking the guns. As for NGs with the brain, while you won't take him out as well as Sniper and Heavy, working with your team to take out his gun and the engineer himself will take care of him just fine. The, the medic is the last of the spy's easier victims. Since the medic doesn't have great weapons and is constantly paying attention to healing his teammates, Getting behind him and giving the old Caesar shank is pretty easy. He is also your most important target of all the others. Taking him out is important, and I cannot stress that enough as a spy player. Well, that's about it for now. In the next video, we're going to be arming ourselves with all of Spy's knives, revolvers, and sappers, and seeing what are the better weapons and loadouts we can equip. We will also be discussing his knives in depth and the playstyles that they will facilitate. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, I'm glad you stopped by, and I'm hoping you were able to learn a few things. Bye for now!